As a result of this, Rage and Hunter Adrenaline will now grant energy if you don't have shields. So Ineros and Nidus or any other Warframe with shields temporarily down can regenerate energy through Overguard. This is honestly a huge change. So one week after his release, Dante was hit with the nerf battery. He was dragged down the alley and he was beaten half to death with it. 24 hours after that, Digital Extremes have held their hands up and admitted, look, we messed up with some calculations and shouldn't have released the changes in the state that they were in. So it is a very quick turnaround because of you guys giving feedback. Now, constructive feedback. I don't mean being a dick in comment sections or in Twitch streams, the actual constructive guys. So seeing developers hold their hands up and say, yeah, yeah, look, we botched it. We messed up. We're going to revert the changes, but we're also going to fix other things because this issue has shone a light on other concerns is quite nice to see. Like I said in yesterday's video, even with the nerfs, Dante was still an incredibly powerful Warframe, but line of sight definitely hurt him. And because of this line of sight concern, it has now made Digit Extremes revisit older line of sight checks, which will be fixed in a future update. So some of our other Warframes are now going to benefit from this same fix. And like I said, as a result of that player feedback, Dante is having some of his changes reverted. But on top of that, they're now dishing out buffs to Warframes that have been affected by Dante's Overguard, stopping their abilities or builds functioning the way that they should, which was the cause of that disruption and the reason we were given as to why Dante was nerfed to begin with. So some pretty big and welcome changes coming in next week's hotfix, which should fix a lot of our complaints. So let's dive into the meat of the matter. Line of sight checks in Warframe used to be done with a single ray cast or a scan to see if enemies are in your line of sight. Now that will become three scans, one scan to the top, one scan to the side and one scan to the feet. And if so much as a pinky toe on an enemy is visible through any of these three scans, then they're going to be considered within line of sight. Like I said, this new line of sight check is now going to be used game wide, which other Warframe abilities will benefit heavily from. On top of this, the status damage vulnerability of Dante's page flight, his Paragrim birds, was removed in the last, I guess, nerf due to it being identified as a bug. It wasn't supposed to work that way. However, the outcry from the Warframe community was loud and clear, so Digixtremes are now going to reintroduce this feature increasing damage of status effects on enemies targeted by his page flight. In other words, his birds are being buffed. Now, the main reason Dante was nerfed was because of his disruption to Warframes like Ineros, like Nidus and Chroma with combat discipline and rage and hunter adrenaline mods not working because those frames had a huge chunk of overguard before they could benefit from certain mods. As a result of this, Rage and Hunter Adrenaline will now grant energy if you don't have shields. So Ineros and Nidus or any other Warframe with temporary shields down can regenerate energy through Overguard. This is honestly huge. Vex Armor on Chroma can charge its damage buff by getting ranged kills and its armor buff by getting melee kills or ability kills. This is in addition to its existing functionality. This means that Vex Armor will work while Overguard is active and generate that buff much faster. Now, the Combat Discipline mod apparently is still being worked on and will be reviewed for future updates. They have listened, but it's apparently more of a complicated one to fix than the others. But let me know in the comment section below what you think of these upcoming changes. Are you happy with them or not? I think it is a sign of their intentions that they came out so quickly and admitting to messing up the Dante changes, but also that they've now also fixed other issues that that Dante nerf has highlighted. I think if we're going to be quick to get angry and post forum posts about nerfs, then we should be just as quick to applaud them for reverting and fixing the other issues as quickly as they have. But again, let me know what you think in the comment section below of these changes. I think on paper, they sound great. Buffs to Ineros, Nidus and Chroma and basically any other Warframe with low shield values. And Dante, of course, is going to benefit from a huge line of sight fix. His Overguard can still cap out at anything from 40, 60, almost 80k with the right build. So it's still very, very strong. And his tragedy damage or range was never touched to begin with. So he is still very powerful. Like I said, let me know in the comments section below. Have a great day. Have a great weekend or great weekend as always. Thanks for watching.